Hello everyone, I am here with another video about Turkish aerospace projects, but first of all, please subscribe to the channel, it is free. President of Defense Industries of Turkey, Prof. Dr. Ismail Demir answered questions of Turkey's leading defense magazines via domestic video conferencing system. Dr. Demir made important statements about the Turkish defense sector's post-COVID-19 period plans and different projects. Air Defense Systems Turkey's air defense system procurement roadmap has changed. Turkey was blamed the accusation of equivalencies of the Hisar-A and Hisar-O domestically developed air defense systems. Dr. Demir stated that according to the need on the medium altitude air defense systems, the procurement rates will be shifted to the Hisar-O. According to Dr. Demir, deliveries of the Hisar-O medium altitude air defense systems parts have already begun to during the procurement process. In the Hisar-U, which is also known as the Sipar or Trach, is continuing. Hisar-U was underlined the experience obtained in the Hisar-A and Hisar-O projects will be transferred to the this project. The development process for longer-range radar and stronger electronic subcontinents are continuing, indicating that recent experiences have reemphasized the importance of air defense systems. Dr. Demir announced that Hisar-O deliveries have started. Underlining the Hisar O is a specific system, it was stated that the process experiences partial disruption due to the COVID-19. Despite this, it was stated that some components of the system were deployed and some testing activities were carried out in the field, while the building test and integration process continues. In the experiences gate, it was also determined that the need for medium altitude air defense system rather than a low altitude came for thus Hisar O was delivered to the Turkish Armored Force. Work on a SAMT based but more comprehensive system with Eurosan was launched in recent years. Professor Dr. Demir announced that the identification work had been completed. Dr. Demir also stated that the translating the necessary text into the different languages has been completed and discussions on more specific issues are on the agenda. Although the S-400 procurement agreement includes items such as training, maintenance and technical support, Russian personnel will not be able to access the S-400s as they wish. This is a red line for Turkey. President of Defense Industries of Turkey, Prof. Dr. Ismail Demir stated that local companies will be the authority in the maintenance process. Dr. Demir also stated that the installation process is continuing and certain systems are put into the operation. Dr. Demir also gave the good news that the deliveries of the Porsau portable defense project will have been started soon. Aerospace projects. Dr. Demir made important announcements about F-35. It was announced that every supply line will be shut down after March 2020, but there are no signs of that from the main contractor. Turkey continues to work and production process. It was stated that there was lack of communication in the process due to the COVID-19, yet it was emphasized that the production did not stop. According to the Dr. Demir, Turkey works as long as the program's loyal partner and continues to contribute. Dr. Demir stated that although foreign components are used as part of the transition process for the Turkish fighter X, they will have been changed with domestic ones in order to the importance. Dr. Demir also announced that block system will be adopted in TFX. Besides this, Presidents of Defense Industries of Turkey also gave the green light to the TFX and UAV integration. Dr. Demir stated that UAV roadmap is comprehensive. He underlined that there is some studies under the leadership of Turkish aerospace in the field. It has been announced that the F-16 modernization programs will continue within the scope of the Turkish Air Force requirements, indicating that ESA radar integration is also on the table for F-16 fighting Falcon aircraft. Dr. Demir said that the studies are ongoing and different block aircraft will be modernized. It was stated that there was no specific demand for the modernization plan for F-4E 2020 Terminator aircraft, but structural and avionic improvements are on the agenda. It was stated that UAVs are an important requirement of the modern battlefield. Dr. Demir said that Turkey continues to work with all its strength to lead this trend, while it has been announced that Research and development process continue in many different areas, from mini UAVs to medium altitude long endurance platforms. Electronic warfare systems, ship based UAVs, and jet engine UAVs are on the drawing table, and it was stated that the design activities are going on as planned.